Okay, so hello, hello. <laughs> I'm a couple minutes early, but I'm just going to go ahead and sit here and wait for a couple of you to come in. I just wanted to double check the stream was working fine before we got started tonight since it's been a couple of days. Hey, Michelle. How you doing? Did you have a good holiday? Did you do anything for the holiday? We cooked out at my mommy's house and it was yummy. And then I came in last night and painted, so it was a fun day for me. Hello April, how you doing? A lot of time with family. That's a good way to do it. How was, did you do anything April? Hello Kale. So I actually got a few things done yesterday and then I got some stuff done today. I figured I would take today as my main admin -y type day and then the rest of my week can be pretty much fun. Um, I've got the watercolors to release on Friday and that's a big undertaking but they're pretty much set so I can wrap them at any time. And uh, good. I went to the planner event and still recovering. I rec <laughs> hey Mary, I recovered from getting April. Hello. How was it, April? Was it fun? Did you have a good time? I'm going to start marking stuff off. Um, the blackout video went up. I packed and shipped all my orders. I ordered pigments at 20% off. So, yay. Um... I finished Thursday's video. I switched over the stream and stuff and I did my step out so that I can catch up. I'm going to go in tonight and draw on my iPad. So some of these things might get marked off. But let's see. I, I, need, to, I need to add some things to my list here. So I organized watercolors but I'm out of space on my Tuesday uh, also let's see I've got a big order I had a big order and then I've got the giveaway winners that I need to do so I have got all but one color one lonely little color mixed for Sandy's big order and then I've got to make sure I've got dot cards for everything because the two giveaways were for complete dot card sets so I'm gonna put those up there and then I organized all of my watercolors so I'm gonna mark that off Yep, so tomorrow is going to be an artsy kind of day, Thursday is going to be an artsy kind of day, and then probably wrapping watercolors, yeah, and then Friday is going to be the release. So if you saw my Insta stories and you saw the new Pride collection, um, are you going to Sam's Live tomorrow? Sure I am, of course I am. Let's put that on my, on my list. Sam... Uh, is it at 2.30? The people you hung out with were great. Awesome. Awesome. Well, then I'm glad that it was worth it and you had fun. I mean, it's, it's probably 2.30. Watch, it'll be different now that I actually wrote it. Okay. Awesome. Alright, work on stickers in Sam's Live tomorrow. So, the Pride Collection came out. I'll show you all what I have been working on. So, you've seen, that is the Sea Life Collection. That's June's Watercolor Collection. So, that'll come out on Friday. 
and then the pride collection will come out on Friday since uh, June is pride month I have got two other colors that I'm going to release on Friday also so this one is red wine and it's really really close to orchid but it's a sort of a custom mixture and it's got a really pink shimmer to it and then this one is rust and this was sort of an accident while I was trying to make a yellow so <laughs> it's a bronzy orange so there's that those two will come out on Friday as well I finally finished this bad boy a few minutes ago so I'm calling this Dylan I just put little spriggies in it and finished filling it in so I really like how it came out 230 is good okay awesome and then y'all will get to see me make these on Thursday So I was working on these today and finished that up. So this will, this one will be Thursday's video and this one I made during the video even though it was just a little something extra to use up the paint. So yeah, if you water down, water down to like a runny melted ice cream texture um, your paint then so much better. So this is just the balloon um april in case you were going to do it uh from your kit so that's what i did the top of these with and i had a lot of fun so i'm going to do some more of those on bigger canvases and things like that and in different shapes and all of that good mess so i did those um somebody reminded me that i haven't played saveopoly in forever um because we haven't been doing the vlog in forever but I've kept up so it's all here but we need to do last week because I forgot to do it on Friday so I'm going to roll my dice and I'm going to put in here for last week real quick these are the dice <laughs> these glow in the dark they glow in the dark so that I don't lose them and um, Tina sent them to me for my birthday <laughs> which made me laugh so hard okay so six and three Okay, so 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is 14. I need to put some more sticky on the back of my little polar bear dude here because he's coming unstuck. Alright, 14. Alright, that takes care of that for last week. And then once I move into my new journal and figure out where everything else is going to go, I will start filling in the rest of it. Like, there's no sense. Well, Alexa, what was the high temperature today? Today, expect a high of 96 degrees. It was so hot. Let's... Let's see, this is May 28th. I'll, just, I'll catch it up now. Let's, why not? 96. Holy crap. Alright, 28. So you can see how much, how much um, I have fallen behind. Let's go. Then Auntie Flo popped up earlier today, early, and shocked the crap out of me, but it's okay. And then, I don't think I'm going to keep the activity tracker because it's just telling me that I never get up and do anything. Do you think the pre-order journals will be to the people that order by the end of June uh, absolutely um, I think so I think so um, by the end of June I'm almost certain because let's see let's think let's think 
I need to put my thinking cap on. Uh, let's see. Swatch book. Watercolors June kit. Trying to think. Oh, order journals. Order journals. I ordered them this week. So, let's see. If we even say, okay, so if we just say the 20th, just to give it a couple days of leeway, just for fun, it was 18 days from start to finish. So, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if we say that they have to be shipped by June 7th and they're coming via air, and I allow it even two weeks for shipment. That would be one, two, three weeks for shipment. Uh, would be June 28th, which should be more than plenty given the amount that I paid. Absolutely. I think that, yes, without a doubt, they should be here before the end of June. I think they should be here. Um, I think they should be here sometime around the 14th, 15th. So let's say 15th to 20th, they would be to me. Then I would ship them out, and you've got three to five days, depending upon where they're going, to ship to everyone. Because I will turn around that whatever day they get here and get them all out the next day, um, or the next couple of days. So I would say yes. I would say yes. They definitely should be there by the end of June. To you. They should be to me by mid-June. Way to waffle. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out in my head. It wasn't working. Um, absolutely-ish. Should. So, we're gonna... We're finding out about this whole shipping thing. But when they shipped e-packet to me, it took a week. And that's their budget shipping. So the shipping that I paid for should be faster. It's supposed to be what I'm moving into for July too. So I am with you on that. And considering that I set up mid-month, yeah, I hope so. Um, I hope that they're here in time for me to do that. But then definitely in time for you to do that. Alright, sorry I'm like, hello Amber. Alright, so that does that stuff. But now we need to do this stuff. Alright, I'm going to put paint on here for today. I'm trying to, I don't have many more days obviously to fill in here. But I am trying to squish them all in and nice and big since... This uh, spread was looking a little crappy because I missed like two weeks worth of words, but it's okay. We're going to put, ooh, be quiet. All right, we're going to put paint here. I'm trying to do a live here, phone. Hello, Galena. Hello, Cindy. All right, what am I today? I think I'm creative today. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to go with creative. So what I'm trying to do is fill in mostly all these things over here. And then I realize that there's not going to be enough. And I'm still going to have to move over to the other side. But I'm like one short. So maybe I'll do this cracked one. So this is 28, 29, 30, and 31. And then these are all the days that I missed. Whoops. Whoopsie doops. Alright. And I filled this out yesterday. So even though we didn't do the live, I was on top of things. Yay me. Alright. 
sales today was a yes. Instagram, yes. Facebook, yes. I have actually sketched. I'm breaking in the Steampunk Kitty uh, sample journal just to test it out as a sketchbook. So, awesome. We got some catching up to do. Uh, oops, I just filled in the wrong day. Um, for the 100 day challenge today, but that's okay because I got all my step outs ready to go. I did cook, I did clean, haven't done mermaid yet. Uh, that was a sad experience. <laughs> I spent some time with Mr. King before he went to work. I was up on time, had some me time, uh, did a Skillshare class. Pinterest. Oh, I showed the blackout book. So, this one. That's today. Uh, no spend. The only money that I spent. Oops, that was the wrong day. Oops. Oh, well. Um, this was supposed to be yesterday. And, well, I just have to try not to spend any money tomorrow. Um, YouTube video. Crafty something. I did. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what I was going to say. Or what I was in the middle of saying because I messed up my days, but it's fine. Oh, yeah, mermaid. I'm going to sketch some things out in this sketchbook for mermaid tonight. So maybe I'll get to mark that off again. But otherwise, yeah, that was an epic fail. Um, at least I did a few of them and they were cute. You put it on the wrong day, sketch. Oh, I probably did. I'll put... Oh, whoops. Well, I sketched yesterday, so I could... Do, 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 do. This is what happens when I miss a day of something. And then these little calendars with no numbers. Hi, Sandy. I put your name in my journal. You want to see it? Here it is. I have got one. One more color to make for your order Sandy and then I have to wrap the um, pride collection because it's not wrapped yet because it's still drying and then as long as everything does uh, what it's supposed to do in 96 degree heat um, it'll ship on Friday so Yay. And I'm probably going to go ahead and put your June collection in with that since I'm shipping to you anyway. And since I'm going to be shipping or, yeah, shipping out the June collection anyway. So instead of being in your Patreon package in July, I'm just going to go ahead and put watercolor with watercolor, if that makes sense. So, okay. All right. Um, outside of this stuff tomorrow, that's not, that's all I'm going to really do. So, I'm going to mix this color for Sandy, and then pack and ship anything that I need to do, Sam's Live, and then I'm just going to work on stickers and draw all day tomorrow. So, I'm going to work on mood stickers tomorrow. I'm going to do Zentangle creature stickers, I think, tonight, and sketch some mermaid crafts. So, yep, yeah, that's my day tomorrow. All right, easy peasy. Like I said, I did all my ad mini crap today, so that I wouldn't have to do ad mini crap tomorrow. And now the um, video for Thursday is done, so I just have to hit publish on Thursday because it's already up, and my patrons will get to see it on Wednesday. But, yeah, that's pretty much done. Okay, so, let's grab this one. And, we've got days 54 through 57. Can you give the link for Sam's page, please? Her YouTube channel? Uh, April will probably have it. Um, I can get it after the fact. Or after we end. Um, there it is. Alright, I gotta resituate here. Let's see. 
Okie dokie. So some of these confused the crap out of me and the fox trail being the first one that did it. Um, thank you. Uh, yeah. It has a couple of different variations. I would look at the actual step out on the um, 100 days board uh, instead of my step out because my step out looks crazy. But I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, so Fox Trail has got these little half moon shapes alternating down the page sort of at an angle I don't think, guess it has to be an angle but there you go so half moon shapes and then got these swirl thingies facing the inside of each of the shapes and then you go back and do the opposite ones there we have that and the dogs are outside and then you connect them with these little I don't know what they are um, and I don't little M's is what they look like so you connect the bottom of the little spiral thing with a little M to the top of the closest hump is that <laughs> and then you alternate So all the little open gaps get a little em in it. Like so. I guess there would be one right there. Like that. And then and then it's got like this little outline on it so there are a couple of different variations where it looks like they're little foxes but I couldn't figure out how to turn my stinking things into little foxes once I drew this and so I'm just gonna go with this one and put our little outline around it And it's just kind of weird and confusing looking, but it's done. So, yay! Here it is again. Is it, it's not asking me to approve it, so I'm guessing that they showed up. Alright, let's see. Day 55 for May 26 is Heart Path. This one was nice and simple, so... I'm going to put mine in the middle of this block, start off with a straight line, you've got a heart in the middle up top, and then about the second dot over from the left, and then in from the right, so that they're sort of even. The next step is to make little humps. over top and underneath the line that give it some spacing and then you're going to fill in the little oval shapes that you just made to sort of make them look like leaves so give them some stripes And then you're going to make two leaves come out of the side of each heart. Okay. And then you've got two little leafy shapes. That, well, more Hershey kits kiss shapes that come out of the top of each of the hearts so two little Hershey kisses and then 
you give the inside of the heart some little decoration like so and finally there are these little dotted lines that start a little bit thicker and thin out as you get further away from the little shape that you like that and that is heart path okay the next one is day 56 which is yesterday's for it is square diamond and I put the little square inside my square just to show you that you need the square to start with. So I'm not going to put the square in this box. I'm going to use the actual box as the square and that will also make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go like this. So the first step would be to put the diamond in the box. And then you've got triangles coming off the diamond into each of the corners. Like so. Then you've got horizontal lines coming off of each side here. like that and then you've got the same thing happen vertically where those are going to sort of meet up like that and then triangles in the very center coming from all those lines that you just made so the vertical lines are the edges of the triangle it meets up in the middle and the same thing for the horizontal lines and it that is your square diamond and then you can shade it in and color in it however you want did you get it sandy and so this one the ooh doo doo <laughs> ooh doo doo the ooh doo doo I don't is for today for today and it is day 57 and um it confused the crap out of me too so we're gonna try it again um so you start and it says you can do this in pencil because you won't need these lines after you practice but I don't believe it so we've got four dots and then where the next dot would be you've got a little curved line coming up so there we have that it says there are nine watching, but I don't see anyone saying anything. They just might be sitting in the background, just chilling, not talking to me. You can't see it on your end. Sandy, I can send you, yeah, see if you're in live chat or top chat, because that does make a difference. And if you are already in live chat, then I'll just send it to you in an email in just a little bit. Um, copy here. I'll forget in a little bit. Where's my email that you sent me? Sandy. There you go. You get an email. And then if you got it, you got it. And if you don't, you're in live chat. Okay. Alright. Well, there's your email. It's on the way. So hopefully, one way or another, you'll have that then. Because I just copied what April did and uh, sent it to you that way. Alright. There you go. Let's see. Alright. So then the next thing is to connect the first two. So you go up and over. And run into it like that from the first dot and then you come back like that on the second dot and then you do it again with the next two dots so you start out like that and all is gravy and then you connect a little hump there there you have it 
something bit me right here. I am not scratching my boob. No, you're fine, honey. Um, I don't mind. And um, I'm not scratching my boob. Something bit my shoulder. Um, okay. And then you're supposed to <laughs> turn your paper upside down and do it again. So this one would come up like that. These, that one would be there. And that one would be there. And so it looks like this weird claw thing. Is that the same? That looks the same, right? That That's the same. And then, let's do this. Because it was... It was trying to tell you how to shade, how to shade it, and I didn't do so hot um, to give it some definition because then it would start over. Like this would be, you have to turn it into the sinking pattern. So that would be like that, and. This would come over here and come down, you know, whatever. This would be here. This would be here. It was just confusing as crap to me. So I think the goal of this set is just to confuse me. But then you just shade pieces of it or color pieces of it. To make it look 3D. Mine does not. Because I mean I really don't. Get this one. But. This one would go up like this. It's just confusing. So. It, maybe y'all will do better at this one because I just don't get it. Um, it just looks like a jumbled up mess to me. I swear though, this is supposed to be one shape and it's just, it's not. So, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's another fluffy. It's another stinking fluffy. Don't do ooh do do. Because you'll be doo-doo at it. It's really weird. I don't get it. Because this shape doesn't connect down here. And so on the other side, this shape doesn't connect down here. And then you got two weird teardrop thingies. I don't... Mm -mm. It's another fluffy. So my favorite one <laughs> is the heart path. Um, from this... This one confused me. This one looks okay. This one looks better than this one. But this one's cute. I like this one. So. I don't know. Tomorrow we are doing something. I can't pronounce. Nairoda. Is what we're going to call it. Is uh, tomorrow. And I have no idea what it looks like. Because I haven't looked at it yet. But otherwise. We done for the day. I'm going to go inside, like I said, and draw and watch the dogs and probably some Master Chef until Mr. King gets home. And uh, then get up and start the day again tomorrow. Did y'all see my orchid? <gasps> Ooh, somebody tell me how to take care of roses. Because <laughs> I know not everybody sees my Insta stories. And we got thingies. Eating holes in my rose bush leaves, but nothing else. It's just attacking rose bush leaves, and it's like pretty much killing this one out front. And this one, I think we caught in time, but it's starting to show up on the rose bushes that we put in the front. It's not eating anything else. There's plants all around it, and it's not eating anything else, but it's eating my rose bushes. And just the leaves, not even the roses themselves. But so we thought it was rose slugs, and we bought some um, some oak that was supposed to help with rose slugs, but um, it's not help. Oh, <laughs> but it didn't help, I don't think, or it's just not helped enough yet. 
I don't know. But I don't. But somebody said dish washing liquid and honey. Aphids is what you got on your roses. How do I get rid of aphids? Or white flies? Flies is a distinct possibility because there's flies everywhere. So maybe they're white flies. How do I get rid of them? Because I bought poison that pretty much, not poison, I don't know if it's poison or not. I bought ooze stuff that was supposed to get rid of all kinds of bugs. And um, I don't know if it's working. But we put it on there. But did you see my orchid? It's so pretty. How pretty is it? It's so pretty. So, he said that he did not like direct sunlight. Oh, oh. oh. And, uh, hmm. So, he's sitting over here. And, um, he eats three ice cubes once a week. And I gave him three ice cubes on Saturday. So he's going to get three more ice cubes on Saturday. I don't know what to do about his roots. Does anybody know anything? Dishwashing soaps is one way or get spray that kills aphids. I will look at our spray and see if it says aphids on it. Because it's something that you hook into the water hose. Like you hook the water hose up to it. And it sprays the stuff with the water. But we got dishwashing. We got Dawn in the house. And so we can use Dawn uh, on that. And we'll try that too. So we'll just spray it with everything and see what works. But is his, is his leg supposed to be coming out of the, the pot? Or does he need a new pot? Because he's starting to look a little, little shop of horrors in the, <laughs> in the bottom of the pot. I don't know. Is his, is his legs supposed to come out? Or are they supposed to? How is he supposed to get the nutrients if his legs are? Google is my friend. That's what, what we did Google. And Google said rose slugs. And um, so we bought the one that said rose slugs on it and it didn't work looks like it needs a bigger pot I am gonna google it make sure it's the regular dawn two tablespoons with one gallon of water it is the regular dawn we bought the regular everyday dawn um, not the scented dawn or anything like that it's two gallon All right. All right. Now we'll try that. Cause I don't want my rose bushes to die. Oh, y'all want to see the um my Lily versus Mr. King's Lily? I mean, I'm not saying that I love mine more or anything, but. I show you the difference. <laughs> this one is my lily. And this one is his lily. <laughs> I'm not saying that I love mine more, but I think I might love mine more because mine's doing a little bit better than his. <laughs> he blames it on me because he says that I picked the best bulb out of the bag, which granted I did, but there's not a whole, whole lot of comparison um, here. So, I got him a different pot. I got him a different pot, but um, that's his lily. And <laughs> that's my lily. Oh, mine is you. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't wait for it to start doing something. Um, 
my mama, I, I gave my mom and my um, grandmother lilies that were ready to bloom for Mother's Day. Um, and a combination of my grandma's 90th birthday, I gave her a lily because her name is Lily. And that's why I have Lily tattoos all over me because her name is Lily. And uh, <laughs> my mom's bloomed and then, you know, all of the bul or all the little buds, you know, died and then they fell off. <laughs> and apparently all the leaves are falling off of it too. And um, she, I went over there yesterday, she, like, yesterday and she was like, oh my god, Amanda, <laughs> I think I killed my Lily. And <laughs> about that time, my niece, who's seven, came running in the door going, Grandma, why do you have a stick planted on your, <laughs> on your back porch? <laughs> the timing was perfect, and that's what it looks like. <laughs> It looks like she's got a green stick in a in a pot. <laughs> it's bad. And we kill plants here, so it was so funny. <laughs> she did. She came running in, and she was like, "Oh, Grandma, why do you have a stick planted?" And uh, <laughs> she's like, "That's my little." <laughs> Oh, it was so funny. It bloomed out really pretty there. Like, there was like six or seven flowers on it, and then, yeah, it died. Um, <laughs> the um, snapdragons and the whatever the orange things in the middle of the snapdragons that my son got for his concert are doing great in the bowl of water inside. <laughs> yeah. Um, we definitely need some some lily and rose googledge definitely um, <laughs> because ah, it was so funny it's, it's just a stick with like two leaves on it <laughs> that's what it is it's a stick with two leaves on it our fertilizer junkies awesome because well we've been spraying fertilizer and food on them on them too so Maybe mine got a little bit more than his, but he was supposed to raise his lily, and I was supposed to raise my lily, and it was supposed to be a race. So, anyone who knows anything about racing knows that you don't help the competition in a race, because that's not racing anymore. You need books. <laughs> I have to go get me some books. I go get me some books. I got to go out sometime this week. I'll go find me some books. All right. And now we're late. All right. So, I love your faces. I am going to go inside now and relax because, yeah, this thing isn't quite keeping up with the heat. My bare feet and my succulents are happy, though, so I'm good with cactuses and succulents. Not so much with roses. I love you faces. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you again here tomorrow. Um, I hope y'all have a great night. And I hope you had a great holiday. So, bye-bye. Bye-bye.